Good afternoon, grade 7. So, our lesson is about rational numbers from fraction form to decimal form and vice versa. Rational number. A rational number is a real number that can be written as a simple fraction. The word rational is derived from the word ratio, which means quotient. And rational numbers are numbers which can be written as a quotient of two integers where a over b or a divided by b where b is not equal to zero. The relationship among real numbers. So, we have here a diagram. Yung pinakamalaking circle ay real numbers. And itong nakaseparate ay irrational numbers. So, under rational numbers, there are integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers. So, later we will going to discuss those real numbers. The set of real numbers. Any number that can name a position on a number line is a real number. And every position on a number line can be named by a real number in some form. So, an important property of real numbers is the density property. And it says that between any two real numbers, there is always another real number. So, for example, yung um, 1 and 2. So, sa pagitan ng 1 and 2, there are 1.1, 1.2, and so on. The set of rational numbers. Any number that can be written as a fraction is a rational number. This includes integers, terminating decimals, and repeating decimals, as well as fractions. An integer can be written as a fraction simply by giving it a denominator or 1. So, any number or any integer is a rational number. For example, diba, yung 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So, automatic ni mga whole number, meron silang denominator na 1. So, consider yon as rational number. A terminating decimal can be written as a fraction simply by writing in the way 3.75. So, yung whole number dito, 3. Ito. And yung 0.75, kunin natin yung 7, 5, and then kung ilan yung decimal places, so 2. 2, 0 din ang ilalagay dito. Kaya 75 over 100 is equivalent yan sa 0.75. Then adding if needed to produce a fraction. So we have yung 3 automatic na para maging fraction din siya, gayahin natin yung denominator na tong fraction. So we have 100 as denominator. And 3 times 100 is 300. Kaya ito ay 300. And then copy the denominator 100. Plus yung 75 over 100. And then, pag-add natin, 300 plus 75 is equal to 375. Then yung ating denominator na 100. That's why 3.75 is equivalent to 375 over 100. So any terminating decimal is a rational number. The set of integers, the counting numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on, and their opposites, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on, and including 0, are integers. Another one is set of whole numbers. We have 0 and the positive integers are the whole numbers. The set of natural numbers. Also called the counting numbers, this set includes all the whole numbers except 0. So, lahat ng mga kasama dun sa whole numbers except 0. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. And the last one is the set of irrational numbers. The irrational numbers are the real numbers that are not rational. That is, the real number that cannot be expressed as a quotient of two integers. Some example of irrational number can be square root of 2, pi, yung cube root of 5, etc. So, yung mga numbers na kung saan ay re hindi siya repeating or yung non-repeating decimals are considered irrational numbers. 
making the denominators the same. So, when denominators are not the same, we can either use the least common denominator. So, kagaya ng mga uh, pag-aad ng mga fractions with different denominators. So, next, multiply the numerator and denominator of each fraction by the denominator of the other. For example, we have 1 third plus 2 fifth. So, yung ating LCD dito, to get our LCD. So, 3 and 5, kapag minultiply natin yan by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, yung number na magkakapareho sila, yun yung ating LCD. For example, we have 3 and 5, yung de denominator. So, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. And 3 times 5 is 15. And then, 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. So, 15 ang ating LCD. So, after makuha ng LCD, siya yung maging denominator. And then, di-divide sa ating denominator, i-multiply sa numerator. So, 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 1 is 5. Then, yung operation is addition. 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 2 is 6. So, 5 plus 6 is 11. Then, yung ating denominator ay 15. That's why, 1 third plus 2 fifth is equal to 11 over 15. Addition and subtraction of rational numbers in decimal form. So, there are two ways in adding and subtracting decimals. First is to express the decimal numbers in fractions, then add or subtract. So, Second is arrange the decimal numbers in columns such that the decimal point are aligned. Then add or subtract as with whole numbers. So magbibigay ako ng example dito sa express the decimal numbers in fractions then add or subtract. So halimbawa we have yung kanina 3.75 plus 1.25. So for example... So, express natin itong decimal numbers as fraction. So, yung fraction ng 3.75 is 3 and 75 over 100. Bakit 100? Kasi 2 decimal places yung 0.75. Kaya dalawang 0 ang ilalagay. Then, add yung whole number na 1. Then, yung 0.25, we have 25 over 100 Then Kasi 2 decimal places. Ngayon, Pag-add yung whole number, so we have 3 and 1. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. And then yung numerator, we have 75 and 25. So, 75 plus 25 is 100. Then yung denominator na 100. So, 100 divided by 100 is equal to 1. That's why 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So, next... Arrange the decimal numbers in columns such that the decimal point are aligned. Then add or subtract as whole number, as with whole number. So same example we have 3.75 plus 1.25. So inalign natin yung mga decimal point and then pwede na natin silang i-add. So 5 plus 5 is 0 carry 1. So, 1 plus 7 is 8 plus 2 is 10 carry 1. So, 1 plus 3, 4 plus 1, 5 and then yung ating decimal point. So, we have 5.00 or equal yan sa 5. So, same lang kahit na uh, ginawa mo yung decimal ng fraction and in mo sila by arranging the decimal numbers in column. So, so that's all for this day. Thank you and God bless.